Hi guys, my name is Georgia Beth and I just want to start off by wishing everyone a happy new year and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own cat coasters and a cat butthole coaster. So I hope you enjoy! Bye! So for this video you're going to need your wool, so I'm using a slightly chunky wool and a 5mm crochet hook. So you're going to start by doing a magic circle, so you're going to wrap around your middle finger twice in front of your room finger and tuck behind. You're going to put the crochet hook through the two loops, wrap around, pull through, and wrap around, pull through again. That's going to be your slip stitch. Then you're going to put it under again, wrap around, pull through, wrap around and pull through the two, and that's going to be your first stitch. So you're going to do six of these in total on your loop. Then once you have that done, you can slip it off your finger and then pull the tail end until one loop tightens and then use that to tighten the other loop and then you're going to start your first round so for this you're going to do two double crochets into each stitch the whole way around until you reach the end so you should be left with 12 stitches by the end of this then in the next row you're going to do one double crochet into the first stitch and then two double crochets into the second stitch and you're going to do that the whole way around so it's going to be one two one two the whole way around and once you've done this, you should be left with 18 stitches. So now in the next row, you're going to do one double crochet into the next two stitches. And then in the third stitch, you're going to do two double crochets. So you're going to do that the whole way around, so it's going to be one, one, two. And then by the end of this row, you should be left with 24 stitches. Once you have that row done, you're going to move on to your next row. And for this, you're going to do double crochet into the next three stitches. And then in the fourth stitch, you're going to do two double crochets. So it's going to be one, 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 two the whole way around. And you should be left with 30 stitches on your circle at this stage. And then the next row, you're going to do a double crochet into the next four stitches. And in the fifth stitch, you're going to do two double crochets. So you're going to repeat this the whole way around like we have before. And you should be left with 36 stitches the whole way around. So on the next row, you're going to want to count these stitches, so you can see this V-shape here, that's where you're going to count. So you're not going to count the one that you are currently in. So you're going to count up until stitch 24, and then you're going to put a stitch marker. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can just use a piece of wool. So that's going to mark where you want your ear to go, and then I'm going to use the end of the row as my guidance for the second ear. So I'm going to stop two stitches before that. So you're just going to repeat. The same thing we've been doing again, so it's going to be one double crochet into the next five stitches and then the sixth stitch is going to be two double crochets. And you're just going to repeat this until you hit that stitch marker. And once you've hit that stitch marker, we're going to do a half treble crochet into that stitch. So to do this, you're going to wrap your wool around the hook, put it through the stitch, wrap around, pull through. So you have three stitches and you're going to wrap around and pull through all three. And then the next stitch, we're going to do a treble. So you're going to wrap around, put through, wrap around, pull through two, and then wrap around and pull through two again. In the same stitch, we're going to do a double treble. So you're going to wrap the wool around twice, put it through the same stitch, wrap around, pull through, then you wrap it around and pull through two, wrap it around, pull through two, and then wrap it around and pull through two. And then in the same stitch again, we're going to do a treble treble. So you're going to wrap the wool around the hook three times, through the loop, wrap it around, pull through, then you're going to wrap it around and pull through two, wrap it around, pull through two, and then wrap it around and pull through two, and one last time, wrap it around and pull through two. And then we're going to do a double treble again into the same stitch, so you wrap around twice, put it through, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two, and wrap around and pull through two again. And then we're going to do a normal treble into the same stitch again. So you should have five stitches in this one stitch all together. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do another half treble. So this is going to create our pointed ear shape. And then you're going to repeat your one double crochet into the next five stitches. And then the sixth stitch, do two double crochets until you're two stitches away from the last stitch marker. And once you've done this, we're going to do the exact same thing we did for the other ear. So you're going to do a half treble treble crochet into the first stitch and then in the next stitch you're going to do a treble crochet and then a double treble crochet and then a treble treble crochet and then a double treble crochet and a treble crochet and then in the next stitch you're going to do your half treble and then once you have that 
done, you're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. So you're going to put it through the loop, wrap around and pull through, and then you're going to pull through the loop on the hook as well. So you've left one loop on your hook. And then you can just finish it off and darn in all your loose threads. And then once that's done, you're going to use a iron to press it down. So if you're conscious about the wool getting burnt or anything like that, just put a towel over it. But it is important to steam it. So you're going to apply a good bit of pressure onto the iron and steam as you're going. And then using some pins, you're going to pin it down onto your ironing board cover. And you're going to let it just kind of dry in the shape you want. And once that's done, that's then complete. Now as you can see here, I've added a facial feature onto the black one. So for the butthole coasters, you're going to do the same thing we did for the other one, except for the first two rows, you're going to use a peachy pink colour, or whatever colour you want to use. And then you're going to change to a black colour. Now I didn't have a chunky peach colour, so I just used a normal one, and it turned out pretty okay. But it probably would be best to use the same ply wool. And then once you've reached the very last row, so the row we did the ears on, you're going to just, I did this by eye, you're just going to mark where you want the two legs to be and then where you want the tail to come out. And there's Puka. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by doing the first leg straight away, unlike when I did the ear last. So for this I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to do a double treble crochet into the first stitch. And I'm going to do another double treble crochet into that same stitch. And then I'm going to do a half treble into the next stitch. So that's just going to create a little leg shape. And then again you're going to do one double crochet into the next five stitches and two double crochets into the sixth stitch until you reach your next marker. And once you've done that you're going to do the exact same thing we did for the other leg. You're going to chain three, do two double treble crochets into the stitch and then the next stitch you're going to do a half treble. So once I reach the stitch marker for the tail I chained seven and then I skipped the last two stitches and decided to do a half treble along. So you're going to skip the first two stitches and do a half treble into the third stitch. And then in the second one of these I actually did two half trebles into the next stitch just because it would give a kind of slightly curved top and I didn't want it going straight up. And then once you finish that you can just continue doing your one double crochet into the next five stitches and then the sixth stitch doing two double crochets until you reach the end and then you're going to do your slip stitch and finish it off and then iron like we did before and then that is your cat butthole coaster done. So you can see here is the three I did and I actually think they turned out pretty cute. So I really hope you enjoy and if you do like this video please like, share and subscribe and if you give any of this a go please tag me on Instagram or Twitter so I can see and I'll see you on the next video. Bye! So I just want to give a quick shout out to Caitlin for recommending the butthole cosy and I hope you enjoy your cosy. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> yeah.